Hello folks, and welcome back to Caferian Countryside. I know it's been a while since last episode. But anyways, we're back on here, and we've got a lot of work to do, so I'm taking the Lime 2 store. We've got 64,000 years, so that's because I've gotten at least a bulk trader. And yeah, we do need our lorry for it. Yeah, technically we can use our tractor and that, but... I think I'll use our lorry, I'll use our Mack truck and that. But yeah, we got lime to do on the fields also. I'll try to get some planting done, get some winter wheat and winter barley in. So then um, when it comes to harvest them in the next year, harvest them early. And if not, there'll be good quality enough to get some flour. We mid it down and yeah, get some flour, but it uh, all depends on the quality of the harvest, and we'll get the bonus up, get our veteran score bonus up as well, because I want to aim for 100% on all the fields, but unfortunately it's going to take a little while, so it's going to take a couple of years to let it cycle through that. Ah, uh, yeah, just gone the wrong way on the roundabout, I've noticed that. Oh well, I should know, is that the right way? Yeah, right way. Because, yeah, we're in Europe, so. Anywho, oh, funny enough, our Mac, um, Mac Superliner is here, so let's get everything set up, and then we'll go from there. Major plans. One, we had a game crash, and two, uh, yeah, it wasn't working with the trader and that, so I've gone and returned it, and that was like nine grand or two I wasted, because we have a look, so I'll go to my mods and that be a lot quicker. There's a bulk and your system. For the extended capacity in that, I had a couple of options as well. It was, yeah, it was like eight grand, it was so that's that way. Said also, I leased a normal dolly on top of the uh, snooker stroke, but yeah, that was yeah, 500 so eight and a half grand wasted. This costed 25 grand. This is the Jack Toe self propelled fluoride spreader. The Uniport did a mod review on that recently, so check that out. But yeah, so half a mil, 25 grand to these because I went with bigger tires, of course. Yeah, 10 grand an hour, so it's gonna be an expensive job, but at the end of the day, it's needed. We need to get this lime up, so. So there we go, we are spraying. And the good thing is, we can do this at. A very good speed of 15, 60 miles an hour, so overall it's not too bad. I know we can get away with going a bit wider than that. But yeah, I'm just gotta have a furrow spreader that you can actually do 30, 40, whatever meters it is, rather than like you know, 6, 15 meters with a lot of, especially a lot of the base game for us, or 20 meters, I think it is. But yeah, that is absolutely annoying. However, you can see, we need to get the lime up. Of course, it depends on the soil type. Ideally, we want sandy loam or loamy sand on our fields. Now, that gives us a better yield. But at the moment, we're in a patch of silty clay. So, yeah, let's let the map update. Oh, gone a bit on the edges. Yeah, I think we've missed little bits here and there, especially on the edges. I'm not overly worried. And now, you can see, it's gone from a yellowish and that light green to a proper green now so we're putting out what we need and yeah at the moment we're putting down 6.13 tons per hectare so this is going to require a fair bit of lime so yeah that's going to be fun as always to deal with and again missing the edges come on but yeah once we get the lime done technically the shower to worry about it for about two or three years I want to do in the end still because I want that year 100 with our environment score. I may do a little bit of liming every year. That's the thing. I should do more liming than that. It does get, in terms of requirements, a lot less than that because less pH is gone out or gone off skew than that. Because, yeah, at the moment we're quite ex acidic in that. Like, sort of, like yellow around like pH of 4 or 5. I really want to be around. But yeah, now we're in sort of a bit of a better patch over here, so now we're going to use only 1.75 tons, 2.6 tons per hectare. 
and again, it's going to vary depending on the soil type, so this is going to take a while to do so. I think the best thing done is get a little short time lapse going. I'll show you doing most of these fields where I can, but yeah, we've got all the fields to do, so yeah, I know I want to plant winter wheat and barley, so I think if we do at least 8 and 9, then that could be our winter wheat and barley going in. Because yeah, wheat and that could be used for general flour, barley and that, that could be used for no cider and that maybe. Or depending on the quality, maybe animal feed and that, you just don't know who it could be used for. At the end of the day, it all depends on the yieldage, so... Looks like we really need to top up, so we barely done... Oh, it's going to take a while in terms with the constant fill-ups, but... Hey yo, it is what it is at the end of the day, so yep. Yeah. Let's get this done, and I'll see you folks once we're done 8 and 9, and then we'll start drilling the winter wheat and barley. then so a bit longer than planned but anyways we got all the fields lined and I forgot this field here needs to mulch it so at the moment we've got two mulchers on the way I just converted our field roller to a mulch roller so we've got two workers on that and if we look at our not yield our pH we got all of the fields lined including the soybeans and corn I wasn't ready to harvest so yeah just spent some time getting everything done Return the jack toe spreader that did went over the hour, so we paid 10 grand in leasing costs. Also, all that lime, 64,000 years, that was used up very quickly on the jack toe. We had to get another, I think it was like about four or five, no, about six bags I did, and use about three, I think. Yeah, the small one that we own, the small spreader. That could have done all of these fields, mainly to play about two or three times over and that, with 64,000 litres, but here's what it is at the end of the day, and it gets the job done at that little bit quicker, so I think whilst workers are doing the mulching, I'll start doing the wheat on this field, because yes, we need to get the wheat and barley done. So yeah, by the time we've done the drain on this, we should be good, so... You. Uh, so we'll make sure it's wheat. Yes, it is. 
And so, yeah, both of our drills are direct drills in that. We missed a little bit there to start off with, but overall, we are good. So, so yeah, we can do this at 9 miles an hour. And yeah, we are using quite a bit of seed, 420 seeds per cubic meter. Ooh, that is quite a bit. And terms with, I think that's nitrogen, 440, 444 kilograms per hectare. Ooh, and soil is done fermenting, so our soil is ready. I think, I think for this I'll go outside the cab, because I'm not good at judging borders and that in cabinet. I thought this was faster because it says momentum because these can go quite fast, can't they? Uh, so that one there, we got 13.4 meters. Because, so, yeah, we'll have a little look. So I swear there's one I could do a bit faster, which is under planters or cedars. Yeah, we've got this one here. Oh, no, well, I was mistaken. Actually, fair we can't go up to. 450, 450 horsepower for the momentum 40. Uh, possibility, but. And yeah, just 100 seeders. No. Oh well, 9 miles an hour is fast enough anyway. So too, I'm not complaining. At the end of the day, gets done when it gets done. And that's the thing, I'm considering getting like two of these. These are quite expensive, and at the moment we don't have a lease in a tractor on that. So yeah, it's 5 o'clock now. The sun is going down, and yeah, we've got about another hour or so of daylight, so... Yeah, I'm not sure. I think if we get the mulching done... Yeah, I think get the mulching done. So look at the horsepower of our case. That uh, is 435 horsepower, so cedars go pretty much anything. You can go with yeah, one of these 50 meters or planters. Yeah, really it's only that one, unfortunately, and yep, we could go with the that one there. 13.4 meters at 9 miles an hour. But I think you know what? Let's go and to at least one of these, so not screw it, so 10 grand to these, so I'll get the headlands done on this first of all, then I'll get the worker off on this with this Siger and that, and then yeah, we'll swap over because yeah, the mulching is pretty much actually it's quite almost, it's not almost done, but yeah, significant progress has been made in that. So now down that lower section there. I think that could be done by just one worker, I thought. Because I took so long doing the lightning, I, I completely forgot about the mulching. It wasn't until when I saw it, I thought, oh yeah. Actually, I should check about the mulching, because I was about the whole environment to score in that. The field was ploughed initially in that. This one here. So yeah, it was just nine we drilled. No, nine we harvested. Oh no, did we harvest? Was it six in that? No, seven. No, no, no that, that's the fertilizing that is. Yeah, not sure. Shoot, I could tell by this, so. Go to our yield, so. Ah, uh, yeah, field four. No, field two. And field four. And those have not been mulched, so. But yeah, we could do those over the winter now. So, field, so fields two and four needs mulching over the winter. But yeah, overall, I'm not too worried about that. Because at the end of the day, that could be done over winter, and that's going to be for another crop. I'm not doing wheat and barley in those fields. Because yeah, I want to do things like cotton, I want to do. Maybe some root crops. And then again, things like corn. Well, they have to do canola and that, but at the end of the day, I just want to look at terms with productions and that because, yeah, remember at the end of the day, our main goal, first of all, is getting 10 million well, euros, not dollars, well, whatever, 10 million in 5 years. 5, 10 years? I do think we're doing 5 years. 
and uh, for the final couple of years on the series and that, we can just expand the farm and that even more and that. Yeah, we're at 2,044 out of 2,600, so fairness, we do have a bit of leeway in that in terms of what we can use and that. But yeah, just look at that nitrogen, that is a lot. 703 kilograms per hectare. At least seed is right, and yeah, again, I'm leaving space in that. Obviously, things like that I'm not too fussed about. And the stamps are using a swivel tractor now, whether it's front swivel or rear swivel. It's, yes, getting it all lined up with the positioning. But overall, we're looking good and happy, so let me just finish off getting this heads and done, and then we'll get the work on it and swap over the tractors. And alright, so yeah, we got the cedar here, and funny enough, actually, the worker was able to get that section down there done, so all of the mulching has to be done, so yep, the worker's set off on the way, and I have noticed the worker missing a couple of little bits on the edges here, which is to be expected, because usually something like that, I'll do like two edges and that, first of all, but it's one of those things at the end of the day, so I'm not too worried, I'm just going over those at the end, so yeah, plant that down. And off way we go, so yeah, let's put all of our lights on. So yeah, I think by the time we get to the rolling, it's gonna get dark, so I'll be farming, farming in the night, doing the late shift. At the end of the day it is what it is. Sometimes you get things done early, and obviously we're sort of under the gun a little bit in terms of just want to get the wheat and barley plant in because yeah, we need chicken feet. Also need grain for the pig food production. And yes, just also in general, straws and that for the cows. So I guarantee all the straw we get from these fields is gonna last the cows a while. And actually just checking what beer do we have yet. Do big old square bells. If I'm tempted to sell that, get a not normal big wind rover and get one of those like Heston baiters because also, yes, yeah, you get big bell, big ram bells and that with things like the extensible bell capacity mods and with other fascinating ram bells and oh boy, that is, again, it's one of those things I've used very frequently and like with Ravenport, I'm trying to do things a little bit differently, not just always with productions but also with equipment and that, like do different things and that, experiment with things and that, because yeah, Obviously we're coming up to two and a half years with FS22 being out. Usually by now, if Farm City 25 was to drop this year, we would have heard something by now because I think it was end of April in 2019 when FS22 came out. No, 21, sorry. And 2021 or 2022, whatever, but yeah, 2021. May, no sorry, April 2021 when we had the first teasers of Farm Sim 22 and that. Obviously, as I'm recording this bit now, on May the 11th, we've heard nothing, so... Yeah, I don't know, but... I guarantee, as soon as we get to FarmCon in summer and that, we will hear something about whether or not there's going to be a new game or not. At the end of the day, I know yeah, no, many people some videos. DJ Grimm's on the video, Mr. P's done the video, I made you a video on on the topic of Farm Sim 25, but also on the general future of Farm Sim as it is, as it sounds at the moment, because... And wait a minute, we're not putting seed in. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so some look here. But we're not even putting... Nitrogens in. Huh? Why aren't we... Oh, don't say we've got to like, cultivate the field. Because, yeah, that's the nitrogen going up. We've got... Oh, don't say we've got to... Ah, yeah, I think this is because it's not a direct drill, so fuck's sake. But, yeah. Let me uh, sort this out a sec, and, yeah, I'll go back on to the little chat about farms in 25 in general. Because, yeah, need to cultivate this or something. Bugger. 
So, right, yeah, we've gone and got this and that, and yeah, did slightly underestimate the need of the front tank on this, but oh well, at the end of the day, it is what it is, so overall, not too worried. Yeah, that's closed up, so yeah, just make sure that's Bardi. Yeah, that's Bardi, and yeah, so it turns with all sorts of saying. Yeah, so there's not going to be a form rant and that, like with my mod review and that, with the whole foreign production pack and that. But yeah, just with... I do think... When it comes to the future of farm sim itself, I think it... Generally, it can go a long way, like... It can go absolutely far, go massive and that. Just in terms with a lot of stuff and that, and yeah, stop checking, get yeah, we're already using the seed now, so... Oh, uh, yeah. My own mistake on that part. But yeah, just in general with the future of farms himself. I'm more optimistic than perhaps a lot of people are at the moment, especially the wider community and that. Both on Discord and Facebook I've seen. Again, many comments that have been made with the whole farm production pack being a paid mod, which it is. And my rant on that on the mod review of the Star of Burst, I think it was. It does still hold. It still holds the same opinions. At the moment, don't buy a DLC. I know giants are working on it at the moment, that's why I'm not having mod drops at the moment, not main mods. Yep, obviously you've got new testers and that, but also in general I know for a fact, according to Steam DB, that's been up. That means, in my opinion, giants are working on an update, updating it regularly, almost daily, I think, at the moment. And yeah, we get to the point. It does get a proper an update and it is actually fixed. But yeah, I'll recommend it. I'll buy it. I may do a video on it. But till then, I'm not buying it that. And yeah, with just that whole palaver alone. And with general some of the quality of the mods coming out, like, don't get me wrong, a lot of the mods that's been coming out recently have been absolute bangers. In one way, shape, or form, whether or not it's for me and that personally, but. There's also a lot of mods that's been coming out recently, a fair few mods that are coming out broken, buggy and that. And yeah, it does make a question on how that some of these mods do get past testing that. But yeah, in general, <coughs> overall I'm optimistic now. That's probably why with again, training new testers and that, having different maybe different standards and that, different opinions on like what mods should be accepting that. But, yeah, overall I'm optimistic with Farms in 25 or 26, whatever it's going to be called. I do think it's going to be Farms in 25. It makes the most sense, because, yeah, we don't have a year three season pass at the moment, so... It makes sense there's going to be a Farms in 25 this year, or otherwise Giants will announce something by now, but... Sorry there, I had to clear my throat. But, yeah, overall I'm optimistic with Farms in 25. It's going to be an absolute banger. I'm hoping... Again, I'm hoping things like new crops, things like that we need in farm sim, new crops, better AI workers and that. And again, if we have the potential availability of using some PC mods as a base game feature for consoles, also for consoles, forex maps, that'd be a huge thing. Yeah. Like at the moment with our farm here, again I'm running on last gen console, so I am limited on terms with slot counts and equipment and that. Actually, no, I don't think slot counts is affected between platforms. I know pallets is affected, so the amount of pallets you can have, and also the storage, I think, I'm not sure. But yeah, I know I do think Farm Sim 25 is going to be current gen only, and it should be. I know that's going to piss off a lot of people and that, but at the end of the day, PS4, yep, yeah, still getting support and that, still getting updates and that, of course, or by Sony and that. That's going to be in support for so long. Give it a couple of years, I guarantee. So it's going to start dropping common, not common, frequent support for PlayStation 4s. And again, the same goes with Microsoft and Xbox. Even though at the moment Microsoft and Xbox, I do, I do feel sorry for people on Xbox and that. Again, a lot of the issues console has in general is on the Xbox side. Maybe with the exception of the, funny enough, the farm production pack with. PS5 being affected, not download DLC and that. But yeah, obviously with news in general, with Microsoft and that being, well, Microsoft in terms of being like a equity for equity from that, buying all these small <coughs> developer companies up in that, 
you know, buying all companies all over the place, and then next you know, people get dropped, people lose their jobs and that, and yeah. So yeah, I think Microsoft do need to pull everything out of their ass. So does Sony and that again with the recent controversy with Helldivers 2 and that. I don't play the game personally, but that's been a con controversy in all of itself and that. But yeah, at the end of the day, yeah, in terms of we're back, back to farms and that, it does need to be the current gen only to progress the game itself. Farm 22 coming out on last gen and current gen. That made sense because at the time, during during COVID, with shortages of microchips and that, you know, the chips that makes all of our electronics and that, that makes a lot of sense back then. But now, yeah, PlayStation 5 is regularly being sold at a reasonable price. Well, again, a reasonable price may depend on your opinion, but me personally, and that, yeah. You know, I do think it's fairly priced in that hand. Yeah, obviously with PS5 Pro coming out in this year, hopefully. Makes it does make sense for PS5 Pro coming out this year and that. And then Kai will have the PlayStation 6. Oh fuck me. <laughs> Just use the worst PlayStation 6 and that, but at the end of the day, that makes the most sense in that. But anywho. That's just my little opinion on that. Again, maybe a bit of a hot take in that, but Again, I'll do a full video very soon now. I know content's been very sparse recently. And again, not that it's just personally due to real life stuff, health and that. Both physical and mental health and that. But the moment of it is just where, especially on the weekday, and yeah, weekdays and that, or Wednesdays and that, I can't always do mod reviews. I rarely do mod reviews if you get mods and that. That's because I got Bike Club Night Church and that with my motorcycle club I'm part with. And yeah, with that, also meet up on Saturdays, have drinks and that. And then socialise and that. But also now, as we're approaching, well, we're in bike season now. The weather's getting nice, like, we're getting here in the UK last few days and that, last week and that. It's actually been very good and very hot in the mid, sort of low to mid 20 degrees Celsius and that. Been absolutely nice in that, and yeah, to be honest, been enjoying the weather a bit. Just spending time with family and friends and that. So, yeah, when it comes to that, weekends and that, especially with rallies and that coming up and that, little bike nights and that, bike bashes and that. So, yeah, a lot of it is to be a case of I'll probably go out on a Friday night, have drinks and that, get back home early Saturday morning, maybe get rest for a little bit, and then back out all Saturday night and. Well, there can be times where I literally, I'll probably leave, leave home, I don't know, 6 o'clock in the evening that, 6, 7 o'clock. And I'm not back into Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. Or if I do have a kip somewhere, at a friend's house or a clubhouse, I'll probably do it again until Sunday evening. So yeah, that does affect me being able to produce videos and that. And yeah, I do try to produce daily videos where I can. But yeah, again, just with the weather and that, uh, that's been having an impact. But anywho, now we've done the perimeter properly this time. We do need more seed now. We've still got a bunch of seed now at the farm, so I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, so I think once we get down here done, I'll get the work on this. Then I'll hop into the small case and that, and start rolling in the other field because. How far is that worker done? To be honest, a fair bit. A fair bit of the fields. And yeah, this is going to be working way into the night. And November needs to harvest corn and soybeans, that's fine. But also, we need to start perhaps weeding these fields as well. But anywho, let's get this done. And I'll see you folks in the morning by the time we're done here.
And there we go. We are done. And that took us a while. I think it took us to around about 8 o'clock or say, well into night. And yeah, overall, not too bad. Should you get rid of the weeds? And then, yeah, we can hit that perfect score for the most part. However, I made a massive cock up because when this was done with the weeds, I took the cedar over and started doing this. However, I forgot to swap crops and that, so for like, for like half of this, like up to here, was like, yeah, all wheat and that. And so yeah, cultivated it and then, yeah, just went straight over it. However, because of that, we do have different, oh no, not the yield, this different amounts of nitrogen all over the place and I think overall it's not too bad. I think, yeah, there's part of here that's perfect, good, okay, because, yeah, we went 40 kilograms over because wheat does require a bit more nitrogen in comparison to the barley, but, yeah, overall it's not too bad, I'll say, so at least that's that done and taken care of, so I may still grab a first spur and that, go over the fields and that, just to make sure. They're all fully fertilized completely. But yeah, there's a couple of patches here and there overall that's been missed, but I'll say for the best part, yeah, it's not too bad. So it's in for the cock up, yeah, cock up with the drill net. And also, yeah, gone and repaired most of our equipment. Do need some fuel here. Don't know where I have struggled putting this back in, but. And you put you back in, top up some fuel, and then we'll go and grab the herb site. I shouldn't have known it was a self propelled one, ain't it? That one over there, so not too bad. So, yeah, I'll get this topped up, pull our fuel tanker over, and yeah, you can get all this back in. So, yeah, that's gonna go back in, so yeah, spare me a sec. We'll also get this filled up. So there we go, we are done, and yeah, I just want to show how much lime, yeah, we've got, I think, one or two, a couple of bags in here, so, one bag of lime, uh, yeah, four 8,000 of your bags, because, yeah, I went a bit over, but overall, not too bad. Turn you off. So, yeah, now, what we'll do is wrap up the episode, is start on the herbicide work so and how do you get stuck up there <laughs> can I sort of glitch my way out so yeah I do not want to reset this there we go yeah it's all sorted so yeah now she needs to get the spraying done and actually I'm not sure if this has got the spot spraying stuff so yeah, gonna need to cut that first of all, so crop protection. That's what we've got. And I'm assuming we've got the spot spraying stuff. Uh, actually maybe I should have checked first of all, but I mean, overall we can find out as soon as we start putting. Alright, so oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, we are spot spraying, so that is good. Downside is I can't really tell where we've been, so but yeah, I think if I point it this way, you can see we are spraying our crops. But yeah, the downside is gonna be be able to see everything. So I think what I'll do is I'll do what I normally do is do a headland and then I'll just get the worker on it. And yeah, there's a couple of rough patches over here which we've got drill. But yes, overalls are too bad. So yeah, next episode, what we need to do is soybean harvest, corn harvest, and also our clover. That needs to be harvested. And then I think over the winter, what we can do is do a bit of alfalfa. Because yeah, with clover and alfalfa, we can get hay in that. So I think, yeah, let's do that instead. So we use alfalfa much. Yeah, use a bit of it on corn farm, but... So yeah, I think, yeah, alfalfa bells, or clover bells and that. Or clover hay bells, and then, yeah, 
get the harvesting done, and I think from there, start prepping the fields for the winter, so at the moment, they're all fine for lime. Nitrogen, I'm going to wait till planting, because different crops require different amounts. And yeah, I think I'll maybe do soybeans again as well, so if that's the case, then they don't need any nitrogen, because obviously soybeans, they generate their own hydrogen in that. That's why, like, for example, with Clark's Farm Season 3, uh, with one of the things Clarkson did was uh, got, got someone in who does like proper like, weird stuff and that with soil and that. Basically, what he done was, yeah, planted a wheat field, but also plant soybeans at the same time because obviously soybeans generate nitrogen. But yeah, it's basically it's not. Oh, what was it? Re yeah, regenerative farming. So not it's not organic where it's no chemicals whatsoever. It's regenerative farming where the difference is to organic farming is basically they'll put the crops in or crop in depending on the soil type, and then yeah, from there what they'll do is add any specific chemicals like magne magnesium and that, add whatever bits the crop itself needs to be healthy in that. So yeah, it saves costs on fertilizer and that, because yeah, I think it was like a hundred grand for just fertilizer. Obviously, I think Caleb he got promoted to farm manager, managed to get it down to seventy-eight grand because he used like I think it was like on realms of two hundred tons of manure and that. But yeah, again, that was fun. Watch the Carter's farm. Absolutely binged it. Binged the first four episodes when that came out a couple last week. But as of the time watch recording this, and then yeah, a couple of days ago, going to watch the second part of season three, and yeah, I actually binge that in one night, and yeah, as I always do is I'll go over there and we watch Clark's Farm because it is a awesome series. Yeah, it just bring it brings a highlight onto British farming again, all the issues with farming here in the UK and that, and yeah, just farming in general. It needs more attention than that for sure. But anyway, so but yeah, that's where I'll leave it today. So I'll finish getting this heading done. I'll do the heading on this field over here, and then yeah, next episode, as I stop hitting the pylons, I'll get the workers on the way. And actually, if I say just set the worker off now, one thing I want to check is go to the farm. Okay, can't go there, can't go here. Actually, yeah, I do have some sprayers and that somewhere. I think that's... Well, actually, where do I leave it to? I think it... And uh, yeah, got some equipment over here. Hmm. Oh no, did I use it as a... Sprayer? Herbicide... Not herbicide sprayer. Yeah, this one here. Where's that too? I'm not sure if we're here somewhere. Because, yeah, so I want to check has this got already stuff in it. So I'm thinking what we can do is empty this out if it's got fertilizer in it and swap it for herbicide. So, there we go. Ah, yes, it's got the fertilizer. And actually, I think, yeah, that's what I'll do is I'll hook that up and then, yeah, just go over the fields. And yeah, see if they need any fertilizer. But yeah, so that's where we'll leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the button, feel free to comment down below. And if you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to our channel, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you nice day. But for now, it's me, Farmer Evelyn Stream. And I'll see you all very soon.